Good day coders, welcome back to another video of Let's Build Thumb Talk. In this video, I'll be covering how to generate an access token in your node uh, backend, right? So first and foremost, what you'll need to install over here is this NPM package, which is coming from our actual JSON web token. Then the next thing that you'll need over here is actually like your secret key, right? Which is your token. This could basically be anything. This we won't need for this video, right? So yeah, so once we're done with that, another thing that we'll need to add in over here is our actual interfaces. So the first interface that we're gonna add is our auth response dot ts, right? So over here we'll just have in like our interface, right? Which is our interface. This is auth response. So with our actual auth response, uh, what we'll need over here is just like our user, user and our actual access token. So right, so this users are actually coming from our actual in, uh, entities. And then this access token is just going to be our access token we're going to generate, right? So our next interface that we'll need is just our custom uh, token, right? Custom token options, right? Uh, dot ts alrighty so with our actual custom um, uh, token options what we'll need is just these interfaces so this is going to be our custom token options interface which just takes in our user id our payload expiry and our actual secret alrighty so once we've actually generated or created those interfaces, now we can head along to our auth services. So what we'll need to create over here is actually um, a function called generate, generate token, right? So this is gonna be like a generic function, right? Over here, which is just gonna be um, uh, returning like our promise from API response and uh, that's gonna then uh, uh, expect like a string. So the reason why we're going for this generic is so that we can use it for generating our access token and in, in future we can use the same method to generate our refresh token, right? So this method will be taking in like our custom token. So this is just gonna be our custom token which is coming from our custom token options, right? Alrighty, so once we do have now like our actual custom uh, token options, uh, the only thing that we'll need is actually have this, right? So this is actually creating our response object over here. And then we we'll also wanna have like our actual sign in options, right? Which is coming from our sign in options. Um, which is an interface from uh, an, an interface from our JSON web token, right? So that's just gonna equal to that, and then over here we'll have like this expires in, and this expires in is just gonna come from our custom token dot expiry. Then the next thing we'll need is our actual audience, which is gonna be coming from our user ID, which is from this uh, custom token right alrighty so once we had have that over there the next thing we want to um, check over here is an if um, our actual secret is now right so if uh, custom token dot secret secret is now or if our actual secret is an empty string right if that string is empty right then we just want to throw like um we want to throw like an error right so this will just throw a new error right and then we just say uh cannot so secret key cannot be be now right so that's the error that we should have right other than that if our secret key is there, right? We then need to just generate our actual token. So how we do that is use our signing method, right? And this is used from this JSON web token, right? And this, what this actually expects is our actual payload, which is coming from our actual uh, custom token dot payload, 
right and then we need our actual secret which is custom token dot secret and our actual sign in options which is just what we actually created right now right so and then once that's done we'll actually then return our actual so we first need to have like a response right dot result which is equal to our actual token then we just need to return our response alrighty so that's what we need to actually generate like our actual token so now we can head on and actually now generate our access our ac access token right so this what we'll need for that is actually generate access token and this method will take in like our custom token which is coming from our custom token options interface and that will just return right a promise from right and a string right alrighty so one thing that we'll need to use over there is actually this so we'll just await our response which is coming from this dot generate token right and then we'll just pass in our actual custom token and then we'll just return our response dot result because we just want that result uh string right alrighty so once that's done then now we actually want to generate like our actual access token so when we actually log in we want to get back like our actual access token so in our actual login service over here what we'll need is actually change this up to actually have like now an auth response instead of that user and then also change this over here right so once that's done we'll actually now get an error over here that uh, we cannot return it like that right so the first what we'll need is we'll have like our actual result right which is going to be taking in our actual auth response right and then for our users we'll just pass in the users we got from our entity and then for our access token we'll just have this await this dot generate access token over here and then we need to, now we need to pass in like our actual custom token right so we need to create that so for our custom token uh custom token which is coming from our custom token options right so what we'll need is for our actual expiry right we'll just pass this as one hour right and then we'll also need like our payload so for our payload we know that we'll need like a user id right which is coming from users dot um user dot id right and our email email is coming from oh, email user dot email right and then we also need to specify like our actual secret so our secret is coming from like our process dot env env dot and then if we come here in our actual environments we'll actually copy this and just pass in that over there and we'll also need our user id which is coming from our users dot user id right so that's what we need for our actual custom options right so we'll pass in those custom options over there and then now for our actual response dot results we can just pass in this result Alrighty, so now that we've actually passed in like our actual uh, results, now we can uh, go ahead and actually test this out, right? So our actual postman over here, we still have like the same um, uh, login as prior videos, but now if we actually test this out, we'll see that for our response, we're getting our actual user, right? And then for this actual user, we'll be getting our actual access token yeah so that's all that we need for this video so if you like this video and you're new to the channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe now peace